everybody, this is Mrs. Rice, and I am here to talk to you, and sing to you really, about word problems and estimation, and keywords to look for in word problems. Here we go. How many all together, how many in all? You have to add when you hear that call. How many more, how many are left? That's what you hear when you subtract. Now, you need to know what the answers are called for any word problem. And here you go, I'm gonna help you out. Add up two digits, you get a sum. The answer to subtraction is a difference, uh-huh, when you multiply a product you get. The answer to division is a quotient. Now, you also need to know the word compare. And how many more means compare. And compare means you need to subtract in that problem. It's really important to know the keywords in a word problem. Absolutely, especially when you are estimating. And here's a little something. Estimate about. Estimate about. Estimate means round those numbers. Shout it out. About. Let's do it again. Estimate about. Estimate about. Estimate means round those numbers. Shout it out about. Now, you need to be able to draw a picture for any word problem that you are working on. It really helps. Drawing a picture always helps me. So here we go. Um, sometimes you have to draw a special kind of picture called an array. And here's what I like to sing to remember how to write and draw an array. Deep, then wide, deep, then wide, when you make an array, it's deep, then wide. Deep, then wide, deep, then wide, when you make an array, it's deep, then wide. And you always have to put the deep number first and then times it by or multiply it by the wide number. So that's why I say deep, then wide. There's a certain way you have to write it. It's so important to be able to know how to draw the picture for a word problem. And so, sometimes you need to draw groups of things. And here's a little uh, song that helps me figure out how I need to draw those groups. Here we go. Groups of two, put a two inside the box. Groups of three, put a three inside the box. Groups of four, put a four inside the box. Now you are as smart as a fox. But if you want two groups, then draw two boxes. If you want three groups, then draw three boxes. If you want four groups, then draw four boxes. Now you're smarter than all the foxes. Now, please read word problems carefully and draw a picture because it's only going to help you.